Hey, I'm Sapphire. Wanna hear something scary? Have you heard of the black eyed children? In the middle of the night, you hear a knock on your door. Can I be committed? Whatever you do, don't let them in. To be completely honest, I don't exactly know how to introduce this video. I just know that I want to talk about it. Because this has been happening for years. I I just now want to come out and talk about it because I used to love this creator. You guys don't if you guys don't know who who Snarled is, it is a YouTube channel. It is a YouTube channel created by and affiliated with CEO slash maker, whatever you want to call it, Sapphire. She was the original creator of the channel, and her videos were just the best. I loved them as a kid. Sorry, I'm doing that real quick. I loved them as a kid, and I still love them. The only thing is that I come on into this channel, and I hear this. Hi, I'm Stephanie Strange. Want to hear something scary? I don't know why it frustrates me so much, but you don't... Here, let me show you guys Sapphire's videos. I freaking love Sapphire. This is her original one. This is one of the... Yep, here we go. Hey, I'm Sapphire. Yes, I have an ad blocker. Shut up. <laughs> hey, I'm Sapphire. Want to hear something scary? That song is a... Masterpiece! I love that song. I wish it was. I don't know if it's actually a song or not, but I can't get. I can't find it. Oh my god! So I actually don't exactly know the reason why she stopped making content. I forgot entirely. But yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> why are they so bad? There's something dangerous abducting children in this area. Hey, I'm Sapphire. Want to hear something scary? You've heard of This is Sapphire, by the way. This is the actual person behind it. The Slender Man. Okay, this camera hates this, too. Turn that off, and that's fine. Okay, so... What Sapphire does here is... So, you know the old campfire ghost stories that your parents or you would tell at camp or whatnot? It, it, you would do that. Well... That's exactly what Sapphire did. She would... I'm not sure... Some of these are real, some of them are fake. Majority of them that I've seen have been fake, but they're good. Like, good detail. Like, there's no animation at all. There, there's some animation, but it's very, very low. Like, here, for instance. My grandparents were in the kitchen drinking tea. I sat down at the table and told my grandparents what I had seen. They weren't really paying attention to me until I mentioned... Nothing's moving. ...instinctive sound. <laughs> They both froze. Grandma's eyes grew wide and she covered See? Her, with her hand. Grandpa's face became very serious and he grabbed me by the arm. This is very important, he said, very intensely. How tall was she? As tall as the garden hedge? Where was she standing? It's creepy. I'm getting chills just sitting here. I, I'm i going to cry, dude. I, I miss this. When did this happen? What did you do? Did she see you? I tried to answer all his questions as best as I could. He rushed out Easy. and made a phone call. I couldn't hear what he was saying, but after he hung up, he walked out the door. Grandma, what's going on? It's too hot in here. There's something dangerous abducting children in this area, she said. We call it Hachi Shakusama. It takes on the appearance of an extremely tall woman and says, <laughs> in a deep voice. Okay. It's creepy by monks and they managed to confine it in a ruined building on the outskirts of the village they trapped it using four jizo so you play these horror games you watch these horror videos scary stories for me is what is what makes my spine chill because even just watching this i'm like am i gonna be able to like you know sleep tonight that was this is really cold coffee i did not i thought it was still warm i drank like a little bit of it <laughs> Small religious statues that they placed at the north, south, east, and west of the ruins so Four that it corners. could not escape. But somehow, it did. 
The last time it appeared was 15 years ago. My grandmother said that anyone who saw it was destined to die within a few days. It all sounded so crazy. I wasn't sure what to believe. Just then, my grandpa came back, but with an old woman who called herself Kason. They took me upstairs to my bedroom. All of this finished too. It's a good. It's a good video. With ancient runes written all over them, Kason placed small bowls of salt in all four corners of the room and a small Buddha figure in the center. Soon the sun will be setting, so listen carefully. You must stay in this room until 7:30 tomorrow morning. Do not open this door for any reason. She placed a bucket in my hands. Not even to use the restroom. My grandparents and Kason left the room, and I locked the door after them. I okay. I also do want to say this real quickly. I'm I'm not gonna go into detail with this at all. But she is in. If you're not considering horror, if you're consider if you consider horror like like light horror, like no gore, like some like there is some gore that she shows in this, but it's it's drawing. Like it's it's just black and white mostly. I've never seen any color from her at all. So, yeah. But she's extremely kid friendly. Like in, she's like Mr. Beast kid friendly, but with horror. Couldn't believe what was happening. Well, her old stuff is. Was I really gonna die in a few days? I turned on the TV to try to take my mind off everything, and eventually fell asleep. I was awakened around 1 a.m. by a tapping sound on the window. It's probably just a tree or something. I told myself. Then came a knock on the door, and I heard my grandpa's voice. Are you okay in there? If you're scared, I can come keep you company. Hearing his voice was such a relief that without thinking, I rushed over to the door. It's the fucking trick! Right. I looked at the bowls of salt in the room. All four of them had turned black. And then I heard- It's creepy! Bro, I have a closet behind me! ...on the window continued. I knelt in front of the Buddha and began to- <laughs> I was so terrified and caught up in my chanting that I didn't realize the sounds had stopped. I checked my watch. It was 7.30 a.m. Carefully, I opened the door and ran to my grandparents. We all got in a van and headed straight for the airport. Apparently, there were others who had escaped the grasp of Hachisakusama as long as they never stepped foot in Japan again. So two years ago, when my grandpa got sick, he refused to let me visit him. He even left strict instructions in his will to not let me attend his funeral. I couldn't believe that this creature prevented me from saying goodbye to him. So when my grandma called a few days ago to tell me she had been diagnosed with cancer, I wasn't going to let her stop me from visiting. Why would you tell her these things? Oh, actually, grandma, makes sense. And nothing has happened to me. We don't even know if this thing is real. I'm not going to let it stop me from seeing you. If you say so, dear. I love you, Grandma. I'll see you soon. Oh, nah. Like this video if it gave you the chills. And yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't know what that is, but. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I want them to bring back Sapphire, but the chances of that are very low, so... And she hasn't been back for about three or four years now, actually, it's been a while. I just haven't really talked about it in a while, so yeah, but... I'll, you guys can look more into it if you want to, but... Sapphire quit, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure she just quit. But she ain't dead. She's still here. She might do some screenwriting still, I'm not too sure to be honest. But... Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I need to make sure my mouse is on the right button here. Peace out, guys. Want to hear something scary?